So measure your, your letterbox and see whether that would fit through. Someone had to really shove it through. Uh, let's do one more quick measurement. Yeah, get, actually go for... Yeah, about 3.2 centimetres high. Do one more quick measurement on the width. And I'd say width 16.5 centimetres, yeah. And it doesn't really matter how long it is, but I'll measure it anyway. And it's about 26 centimetres in length. Okay, so anyway, once you've opened it up, this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to take the, let's take the plastic wrapping off this, and then I'll show you. Let's get this. Okay, so once you've got that cellophane stuff off, and you can see the make is called J Jacomi, most probably a Chinese brand, 54-bit driver set. As you can see, they've all got little trays for each part, which is good, but it doesn't look like the actual tray parts are named, so when you put them away, you can quite easily end up mixing them up. So it's up to you whether you get a marker pen like a Sharpie and actually write down what each bit should be. Sticker on the front says that. Scrape, cover away and get checking number. So that's like one of those silver things like on a scratch card you can scratch off to get some number for whatever reason. I don't know why. Okay. On the back you've got a sticker which tells you what parts you've got so 58 parts multi-angle extension bar so that'll be like the bendy one extension bar you've got a connector and then these are all the different screwdriver bits so you've got a nice range and as i said i'm after the ones that are called torx which their smallest size is t3 and it's t4 t5 60, 70, 80, 90. As I said, I've tried T10 on a hard drive, which will probably be the, the most common reason people are going to end up needing to buy this type of tool. T10 is too big, so I'm going to try some, one of these smaller sizes in a minute. I might as well show you. So as you can see, made by Yifeng is the, is the make. Yifeng Technology HK, so Hong Kong. Made in China. Right, okay, so... Let's open her up. There's a little flap here. Let's get out of there and break it. Yes. This feels really tight. Ugh. I'm trying to do it with my left hand and I'm right handed because I'm using the camcorder in my right hand. Right. Come on. That is really tight. I'm going to put the camcorder down. I cannot open it. Okay, so you just yeah, flick that orange bit and then the lid comes up. Take the cardboard bit out. Okay, let's get the tool out. I'm just going to measure the tool, not that it really matters, I and mean, it doesn't really matter, but I might as well measure it for it so you can just see. In terms of centimetres, that tool is just over 14 and a half centimetres long, just in case you're wondering. It might come in useful in case you're trying to use it in a tight space somewhere. And then the widest point of the tool makes it a just under two centimeters wider. Okay, so end of that part looks like that. So, are these labeled in any way? Ah, each of these parts come out individually. Again, as I said, they don't have the names on them to tell you what parts they are. So I'm looking for the ones that are torques. It's not. It's not those first ones. Second lot look like that. I don't believe it's those. Oh, this is going to get confusing. Let's put them down in order. Not that it matters at Third lot looks like this. Okay. Fourth bunch of things looks like that. Is that talks? Hmm. That's almost it. Let's let's have a go with these ones. Okay, so 
Let's get the hard drive. Put the hard drive on my desk in front of me. And again, I wish the actual orange part said the size on it so you'd have to take them out to see. But each tool is labelled, so once you've actually taken the tool out of the orange, you can tell what it is. So that one says, I don't know if you can see that, JM, I don't know what that means, CRV T15, so that's too big. I'm looking for something that's at least smaller than T10. So, let's try, just taking one out that says T9 on the side. I'll stick that into the tool. All you do, oh, it's got a strong magnet in there. All you do is take one part out you want to try, drop it into the end of the tool, push it in, and you can hear it, it snaps and it's got a good magnet on it. So, let's see if that's the right tool for the hard drive. Oh, oh, that's actually promising. That, that actually seems to slip into that type of space. I'm going to have to put the, put the hand holder down because I can't turn it. Um, so righty tighty lefty loosey. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's that's the right one. So, uh, I'm going to take the tool out and just show you the size. I found the one's first guess was correct. <laughs> yes! Okay, so let's get that part out. Oh, I have to turn it around. Pardon me. All right. So T9 appears to be the correct size for a normal uh, external hard drive. And it's come out of, just in case you're thinking that looks like a SATA drive. Well, it is, but when you buy them as external hard drives, they package them into these black cases you have to undo to get to the drive. I, I dropped a hard drive on the floor, about a two foot drop, and now I've got a clicking noise. It sounds like the heads are jammed. You're about to see. I might as well... Well, actually, I'll stop this video. This is this is supposed to be just the unpackaging video, so I'll carry on filming the rest of this. I'll make this video to be the unpackaging video, and then I'll make a second video to show me how to how how to undo a uh, hard drive. So that's those bits. I'll film each part just so you can get an idea of what you're getting. I'm not going to take each one out and show you the name on each side because, um, as you saw on the back of the packet. It tells you all the parts you're getting, so you know what parts you're getting before you buy it. Okay. That's a lot of parts you get for this price. For £8.29. I'll probably never use 99% of these anyway, so... But I just thought it was good to get far more bits than I needed, just in case in the future I do need stuff. So th they'll be particularly useful, these little screwdriver heads. So, huge selection of bits... There's that extra part there. Why would you need that? Let's just try this. Hold on. Let's try. So, okay, so that bit there will not fit on that. Or the other way around. So that must be for that other tool. Let's just see. Let me take the other tool out of this box. If I can get it out of the box, I'll show you that. So what I mean is this, this as you can see, bendy. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Bendy, bendy, bendy. So, does that... How are you supposed to use that? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this would go into a different um, tool, because it doesn't fit on the end of that either way, and it doesn't fit on the other end either way. Oh, yes, it does. Ah. But then you, end, then you end up with that, so... Not entirely sure how you use this part. Um, unless perhaps, does this come undone? I'm going to break this. Does that undo or not? Doesn't seem as though that bit comes off. Um, so yeah, not entirely sure how you use that. Maybe, is this magnetic? No. That bit's not magnetic, so it's not like you could put one of the small parts in and then just use it handheld because that's going to fall out unless you unless you grip the part. Hmm. So, uh, not entirely sure what you do with that, but anyway. So, that's the unboxing video of this pack.
that I bought on Amazon for £8.29 in December 2016. 58 parts. There's the list of parts you're going to get. There you go. Uh, there's no instructions with it whatsoever. So there's no explanation of how you use that connector, for example. Like you've just seen me struggling with. I've never owned one of these sets, so I don't know exactly how you use that. Anyway, that's the unboxing video. Uh, I'll stop this video and I'm going to make another video on showing you how to undo a hard drive and attempt to fix it. So for now, thank you for watching. Um, as you saw, they label this as GHB58 in one. Huh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. GHB58 in one. Look at what I've got. And I've been sent J JCME 54-bit driver kit. That's different. Even though the picture's correct, they've listed it as 58 in one. And I've been sent that 54 bit. That's a bit odd. I will look into that. I'll ask on Amazon for an explanation as to why there's a different number. Because um, even if even if that's imagine that's 54, 55, 56, 57. Hmm. So that doesn't that doesn't work, does it? So let's do the maths now. How many bits do you get in each set? Three, that's six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, 